Hi, my UMK buddies. I am so glad you're with me this afternoon. I wish we could be together and maybe soon we can all be together in one room. But until then, we can still do our little lessons. Now, our lesson today is something that sometimes is a little bit hard for me. We are going to talk about God wanting us to obey our parents so that we can learn good ways to live. Do you find it sometimes hard to obey your parents? Sure you do. I think everybody does. I think it, sometimes we find it hard to obey anybody because we want to do what we want to do. Well, I thought we would talk a little bit about that today and play another little, little game here. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to name some things that maybe your parents ask you to do or your parents tell you to do, and you give me a thumbs up if it's easy for you to do or give me a thumbs down if it's something that's kind of hard for you to do. Now, different people may react different ways to whatever it is, but what, we, what happens when your parents say, Go clean up your room. Is that a thumbs up for you? Or is that a thumbs down for you? What if they say, time to go to sleep in your bed? Well, some people think that's a thumbs up because they're tired and ready to go to bed. But some people still want to be up to play. Okay, so you do it however it is for you. What if they say, pick up your toys? Well, that can be different. What if they say, come on, time to eat breakfast? That's a definite thumbs up, I think. What if they say, do your homework? Well, some people like to do their homework, but some people don't. Turn off the TV. Mind your manners. Feed the dog or the cat or the fish or the pet. That's pretty fun to do. Okay, why don't you go outside and play? That's pretty good. Say your prayers. Come on, let's watch a movie together. What if they say, get in the car. It's time to go on a family trip. I think so. But you know, sometimes we have to judge whether it's going to be easy to obey or hard to obey. And sometimes that happens with what we like to do or don't like to do. But you know, all of us sometimes have to obey things that we don't necessarily like, but we know is the right thing. Oh, sometimes we think it'd just be great if we didn't have to obey anybody. But guess what? Even adults, even your parents, have to obey other people sometimes. And they also want to obey God. And they want to teach you to obey so you can learn to obey not only them, but God. So let's think about that. In our Bible, in Ephesians 6, the first verse in Ephesians says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. You see, God tells us right there that it's right to obey our parents. And even though sometimes it's hard, it just tells us that that's the right thing to do. Because I know your parents wouldn't tell you to do something wrong. They wouldn't tell you to do something that wasn't good for you. And God knows when it's hard to obey your parents. God knows when it's hard to obey His commandments. But He promises to help us to do the right thing. So hopefully you have your Bible with you, and you can read or follow along with me Ephesians 6, 1 through 3. It says, As for children, obey your parents in the Lord, because it is right. The command meant honor your father and mother is the first one with a promise attached. It says, so that things will go well for you, and you will have a long time in the land. Now, that's three short verses 
but it's pretty important, I think. In fact, that's a verse in the Bible that speaks especially and right to children, to young people like you. That verse is meant for you. And it says, honor your parents. wonder what it means to say, honor your parents. Does that mean we have to go around throwing a party for them all the time or just honor them in every way we can? Well, we do want to honor them, but we want to honor them by obeying them and by showing love to them and respect to them and by helping them. You know, some of the, the little things that they ask us to do is really to help them, like when they ask to us, clean up your room or help wash the dishes or things like that, that we might have thought was a thumbs down. But we could turn that to a thumbs up and help them and have fun spending time with them while we're doing it. Think about that. There's a promise that goes along with that scripture too. Did you happen to catch the promise in there? That God promises us if we obey and honor our parents, things will go well for us. Well, I can already tell you, if you obey your parents, things are going to go well. If you don't, they might not go so well because you might get yourself in a little trouble. And if you do that, that's not going to go well, right? But they also want things to go well for you, like to keep you from getting into something, to make your life better. And he also says you will live well and long in the land. If you do what's right, you will live a long life or even have an eternal life in heaven. So if we do what's right, obey our parents, that promise is there for us. Well, what can you as a child, as a kid, as a young person do? You can learn from them, learn from your parents. Let them lead you in the right way. Let them show you the right way to do things and try to remember it and do it. Boy, we can learn a lot from parents, teachers, coaches, a lot from adults, just as much as we can learn from the Word of God. Now, sometimes I know it's hard because we want to be kind of stubborn. And I've been stubborn before, too. And we want to do what we want to do, or we're not ready right now to clean up our room, or we're not ready right now to do what's right. <gasps> Oh my, did I say that? Yes, I did. Because sometimes we're stubborn. Sometimes we're stubborn in listening to God, too. Well, if it's hard to do what our parents say, just remember this. God is there to help you. When your parents ask you to do something that makes you want to stomp your foot or not do it, remember God will help you do the right thing. Call on him. Say, God, help me. Help me do what is right, it's right. And it's not hard if we remember how much we love our parents and that we want to make them proud of us. And that's what we really want to do. It can be hard if you disobey, though. Sometimes you might could get hurt if you didn't do what they told you to do. Or... You could have a really big problem at school or dealing with others or make a mess out of things if you don't mind your manners like your parents tell you to do. If we learn to obey our parents, we'll also learn to obey God. God has rules for us too. He has things for us to do as our Heavenly Father and we can learn to obey them. What better life could we have? than to obey our parents and God. You know, we might not like to think about how important it is to obey our parents or who's teaching us and what it means to live in good ways, but God's word reminds us, just like in Ephesians, how great it can be if we have people to help us care about us and lead us enough to make us want to do the right 
actions. So this week, I want you to think about obeying your parents and obeying God and doing what's right. I guarantee you, you'll have a great week if you can do those things. Let me give you a little secret. Can anybody spell the word ice? I-C-E, ice. Remember ice of obeying. Let me tell you what that is. I obey immediately. Do it right then. Don't wait around or say, wait a minute or later. I immediately. C, obey cheerfully. Be happy to obey. Don't go stomping around with the mean face. I immediately. C, cheerfully. And E means exactly. Do exactly what they say. Not halfway, not stomp around, like I said. Do it exactly. I see E, immediately, cheerfully, exactly. And you'll have a great week, I promise. Let's say a prayer and pray that God will help us this week. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us moms and dads. Thank you for giving us your commandments. Show us how to obey our moms and dads every day and help us learn to obey you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, boys and girls. I hope you all have a good week. I'll see you next week. Hopefully, I'll see some of you Sunday here at church, too. Have a good day.